So now you bring back your yarn with yarn, not your yarn, your with yarn, and you will cast on starting light the black needle, one in the front and one in the back for the first row for five rows. And you will do that twice to, for the flap. It's the ear flap that we are doing right now. So for the ear flap, you will need five rows of waist yarn and then 15 row of your project yarn. So you could start with the waist yarn or finish with the waist yarn. Actually, if you have problem to remove the waist yarn at the end, never start with waist yarn just finish with waist yarn it's easier to remove but for this video I, I start with waist yarn so I did 5 and 15 so I will do my 15 rows and then open the yarn feeder do a three a full 360 to release all the stitches from the project there and then I will go with my wool needle, pick up every stitch. So you grab all the stitches with the wool needle. You take the tip of your wool needle and grab the stitches. You go between the two little red teeth. There. Then I continue very important to grab all of them if you skip one we'll end up with a drop stitch not always fun so I keep going like this and I will do the second flap there oops almost lost this one it's okay like this grab it and voila! So do the second one now. Ta -da! So now it's time to close it. To close it, you grab one stitch on the side and grab the other one. See the contrasting yarn when I use orange and yellow? It's very easy for the, cra the camera to catch it. And it's easier for you guys to follow the video too so if you have problem with hook you're not comfortable I have a video in the video description how to close a tube with the wool needle it's not the best way but it will give you a chance to get more comfortable with a hook later so you will choose option number three in the video description video that I provide. It's five ways to close a tube from Jojo, Jojo Knitting Machine. So I almost reached the other side like this. There. Down. Almost finished. All the stitches there sorry for the noise I have a little one watching the TV on the other room there it's a family here <laughs> we all live here so there so you close with the tail and you finish your row that way. So like this. Time to remove the waist yarn. So I remove the first row and then I will be able to pull on the rest of the orange yarn. There. It's almost magic. <laughs> Ta -da! So you check if you don't have any drop stitch 
and you don't close the other end right away because we have the cord to add. For the cord, I will hook with a hook number five, I will crochet 30 stitch, I will chain 30 stitch. There. This will be the cord for the hair flap. So I will do two times 30 stitch. Chain 30 for my cord. So I did the 30 and then I will come back and I have asked they said it's the slip stitch. I didn't know the name of the stitch. I use that a lot for my beanies, but I didn't know it's called slip stitch. So you will do 30 slip stitch on your second row like this. And it will give like a square shape to your cord. So it's not too thick, but it's thick enough to do a little bow attach it on your kids or your little one so come back if you're not comfortable with a hook it's like I said always away choose a yarn that is thicker do a braid or maybe you could have a ribbon or a cord that you already have at home there's always a way the only thing you have to be careful is the security for the kids if it's safe or not so that's your choice you have to be careful there almost finish and I keep a long tail to be able to attach it with my starting point at the end and it's also good to have a long not too long but a tail of yarn to attach it to their ear flap the way i attach it it's the way i find it secure i did that for my kids when they were young nothing happened so maybe i'm lucky but <laughs> nothing happened so almost 30 last one See, it looked like it a square. It looked great. There, close it with the double knot. So I will do the second one the same way. So now I did my two ear, ear flap. See, I grab it and pull on it to be able to grab the other tail and going through the hair flap there and attach it I put a stitch between the two tail and I don't tie it too much because I want the cord to be long enough if I pull on it, it won't be long enough to attach it there there pull and get it in so now the technique is to close all those little tail of yarn not to close but to hide all those little tail of yarn inside the ear flap when it's done Will be time to pull and close the other end of the ear flap and with the tip of my needle I will go through the cord in the middle of it one time and two times and then I go around it grab it grab it all the stitches and then secure it with the double knot so it, it's secure not gonna move so I will do a double knot 
and I did in the ear flap I have a little loop so with the tip of my wool needle I just go around it and push it inside so we can see it anymore so this part didn't go where I wanted so I will give the right place to go there pull So my two ear flap are ready to attach on my beanies. So it's time to fold it like this. And with the yarn, orange yarn, I will attach it together. It's like temporary. Temporary. Oh, poof, poof. That's a hard one to say. <laughs> Oh la la. So I will attach it to make sure it stay in place when I will really sew it together. There. Like this. And when it's well attached like this, I cut the excess and then I will go and attach the other one. So that way they will be at the place they're supposed to be. There. Fold it in half and then I will go with the orange color again. it and come back grab it and come back if you feel comfortable not to attach it like this that's up to you I always share option especially when you're newbies and you're oh and now it's time to flip it outside down you could see the top how it's look look great see ding so now it's time to attach those together so I will grab one stitch on the beanie and one full stitch on the ear flaps there so I will grab stitch by stitch there and when it's all fixed I will remove the orange color yarn there grab the corner there so I like it that way so I will tie it to secure the stitches not too tight just perfect so time to remove the orange no before I will do the knot to finish it there a little too much and it make a loop so I will just turn it with the tip of the my yarn needle and I will push it with the yarn between the two layers so you don't see it anymore so I will remove the orange there. so now it's time to do the other ear flap I keep it because sometimes a different angle could help to learn sometimes one angle you don't get it and you switch it and suddenly you get it so i will do the same thing like i did on the other side whoops 
grab a full stitch and go on the beanie And then I will do a knot and remove the orange and bring the hat back to the right side. So time to do the little knot. pull on it, secure your stitch, do a little knot, and then I did. There. Ta da! Ta -da! it's that so if you decide to do one beanies like that and you don't want the square look just don't add any waist yarn and finish it in circle like you do other hat and the number will be the same just forget about the waist yarn So that's the first option for this hat. And now I will hide it and I will show you how I did the pom pom and I will show you how I did the little uh, stylish <laughs> part on your beanie. Just a little bit different. I try it. Sometimes it's good if you could do a little variation I don't know if you say it in English. Variation. I don't know. It's something different. So I find the middle going down 10 rows. Keep on the same column. Pick. Go through the other side and pull on your yarn. That will give a little shape like this. You could keep it like this. Tweak. Wish you a great week. Ciao, ciao.